Surface area and volume of rectangular prisms. Today we're going to be finding the surface area of rectangular prisms. The surface area is the areas of all six faces of the rectangular prism. So we can see that this rectangular prism has six faces and that each face has a twin on the opposite side of the prism. And if we remember to find the area of a rectangle is the length times the height of the rectangle. So to find the surface area, we want to find the sum of each area of each rectangle. To start out, we're going to find this front face. To find the area, we want to do the length times the height. And since each face has a twin, we can multiply this by two. Next, we want to find the area of this side rectangle, which is going to be our width times our height. And again, we can multiply this by 2 because of its twin side. Lastly, we're going to find the area of this top face, which is going to be the length times our width. Again, we can multiply it by 2 because of the base. So in order to find the surface area, we want to sum each of these areas. So the surface area, which we're going to represent by SA, equals 2 times the length times height, plus 2 times the width times height, plus 2 times the length times the width. So now that we have our equation, we're going to do an example. And we're going to fill in our variables off to the side here. So first, our length is 12, our width is 5, and our height is 6. Now that we've defined our variables, we can simply plug them into our equation up here. So surface area is going to equal 2 times our length is 12, times our height is 6, plus 2, times our width is 5, times our height is 6, plus 2, times our length is 12, times our width is 5. So first we want to do our parentheses. So 2 times 72, plus 2 times 30, plus 2 times 60. And now we can multiply. 2 times 72 is 144, plus 2 times 30 is 60, plus 2 times 60 is 120. And if we add these together, we get 324. All right, so now we're going to do a real-world example of surface area. Say your mom gave you permission to paint your room, and you wanted to paint all four walls, the ceiling, and the floor. Very extravagant here. Um, the first step you need to do in order to find out how many gallons of paint you need to buy is find the surface area of your room. So your room is this size, let's say 18 by 12 with 8 feet, 8 foot ceilings. That means our length is 18. Our width is 12, and our height is 8. And then we have our surface area formula. So we're going to find the surface area of our room, which is 2 times 18 times 12, plus 2 times 12 times 8, 
plus 2 times 18 times 8. That gives us the surface area of your room. And this is equal to 1728 feet squared. So now we know how many square feet of space you need to cover. We're going to use this conversion factor to convert it into gallons. So if you have 1,728 square feet and you need gallons, there are one gallon covers about 350 square feet of space. So 350 feet squared and one gallon. And then our units cancel. And this gives us about 4.937 gallons. But you can't buy 0.93 of a gallon, so you're going to need to round this up and tell your mom that you're going to need five gallons of paint to paint your room. of our rectangular prism. The volume is the amount of space a rectangular prism takes up. Volume is very similar to area. When we find area of a square or a rectangle, we find length times height. Um, the volume adds a third dimension, so we find length times width times our height. We can think of this as finding the area of the base of our prism and stacking it on top of each other, which gives us our height dimension. So our equation to find volume is going to be V, Chance for volume equals length times width times height. So now that we have our volume equation, we're going to do an example. First, we want to fill in our variables. So our length is going to be 4, our width is 5, and our height is 6. Now we can plug our variables into our equation. So v equals 4 times 5 times 6. And when we multiply this out, this gives us 120. a real-world example of volume. Let's say you get a new fish tank for Christmas and you need to know how many gallons of water you're going to need to buy in order to fill your tank. We need to find the volume of the tank and then we get to use this conversion factor to find how, much, how many gallons you need. So to find the volume of our fish tank, our length is 36, our width is 18, and our height is 12. So then our volume is 36 times 18 times 12, which is 7,776. This is an in inches cubed. Now we have a bit of a unit mishap here where we need feet cubed instead of inches cubed. So we're going to convert this into feet cubed. So we know there are 12 inches in one foot. And this term gets cubed, and so inches cubed and inches cubed cancel, and we're left with 4.5 feet cubed. And now we need to figure out how many gallons are in this fish tank. So we take our 4.5 feet cubed, and we know that one gallon is 0.13368 feet cubed. So 0.13368. Three, six, eight feet cubed in one gallon. Right, now feet cubed and feet cubed cancel, and this gives us 33.6622 gallons. 
but you can't really buy 0.6622 gallons. So you're going to need to round this up, and you're going to need to buy 34 gallons of water. Thank <laughs> you.